What up, what up, what up, New York John Nation? It is your boy, Mac the John. Giants fan, man, and I'm just going to drop a little quick nugget right quick, just explaining to everybody why I feel like the New York Giants are not even to be in on the DeAndre Hopkins sweepstakes, man. So, you know, in the great words of my boy, L.A. Knight, let me talk to you. Hit that intro, baby. going on out there everybody man it's, you know big news of the day as we all know the arizona cardinals release all pro wide receiver deandre hopkins man look we all know what it is this team is in complete disarray they have no i don't think they even really know what they're trying to get accomplished here but what we do know is a lot of players on that team are pretty much unhappy and a lot of their top guys are, are have been trying to figure out ways to get out of there deandre hopkins definitely has been unhappy with this in this situation and looking for it out and he got that out today by getting released by this team in Arizona man but look I'm here to talk about the New York Giant perspective of all this man everybody's rumors already spreading around who's going to be in on the DeAndre Hopkins sweepstakes and I, I don't really believe the New York Giants will but I'm gonna tell you why because this New York Giant team is clearly trending in a younger direction, man. Andre DeAndre Hopkins still does bring quite a bit to the table. So I'm not going to sit here and pretend that if by any chance the New York Giants did sign DeAndre Hopkins, I would be upset about that. But I'm just saying I don't really think it's realistic. I don't think that's what's going to happen. I don't think that's in the cards for the New York Giants. The way things Joe Shane has been making and the moves he's been making, the things he's been setting up and laying down, you know, the foundation that's being laid in New York, in New York now. I just don't see DeAndre Hopkins being a part of that. I, I plus I believe DeAndre Hopkins is the type of guy that's now he's been on he's went from one bad team to another bad team, you know, and I, and I think that he's at a point now where he's ready to go to somewhere that's ready to win a title right now. And look, I love my boy, I love my New York football giants, but let's face it, keeping it all the way real, keeping it all the way a buck, that's not us right now. We're not in what I would say the title mix yet. You know, we got back to the playoffs last year. We won a playoff game in the wild card round. All good. And you know what? Whatever happens with this team, you know what I mean? Who knows? Maybe we can. Maybe we can make a magical run. But let's face it. Realistically, we're not quite there yet. We got a couple of teams ahead of us right now that, that look like they're just a little more for real when it comes to the title picture right now. And I think DeAndre Hopkins will probably – be be want to be want to be joining one of those type of squads, man. A lot of you know Eagle fans been throwing that out there already. Like, hey, they may get DeAndre Hopkins. You know what? You don't really need them. But at the end of the day, that seems like the Eagle way, man. They just load up on talent, you know. And that's a kind of that's actually a type of team that I can see DeAndre Hopkins more or less wanting to go to a squad like that. Hey, maybe even our other division rivals in Dallas. You just never know. I also. I mean, just other other squads out there, man. Maybe he, who knows? Maybe he joins like a, a the Buffalo Bills. Then you know, maybe helps put them over the top. But I, I just feel like DeAndre Hawkins is definitely looking to go to somewhere where he has a legitimate shot to hoist the Lombardi next year in, in this upcoming season. At the end of this upcoming season, and and let's face it, keeping it real, I'm not saying it can't possibly be the Giants, but that's not realistically what people will probably think of with the Giants this year coming into this season. Think the Giants could be a, still a good another good good team again, make another playoff uh, appearance, you know, obviously. Hopefully get a little deeper into the playoffs. But let's face it, we're not necessarily what, what anybody's calling championship contenders going into this season, and I think that's what DeAndre Hopkins wants to land on the squad that's more, more or less 
in that championship contender uh, range. So I think I want everybody to temper their expectations. Don't get your hopes up. Don't think, oh, yeah, chance we're going to get DeAndre Hopkins. I really don't think Joe Shane is going to aggressively go out, is going to be very aggressive in trying to acquire DeAndre Hopkins. Maybe if he just kind of falls into our lap some kind of way, I guess. But I just don't realistically see that, man. I just don't think this team is in way too young of a direction. And and it just doesn't it wouldn't seem to make sense with the other moves that have been getting made by uh Joe Shane right now with this organization, man. DeAndre Hopkins would provide something to that receiver room, obviously. And he's and he would clearly be the, the best receiver on our on our team if we were to sign on. I mean, he obviously would be the number one guy. And uh, but at the same at the end of the day, I still just don't necessarily see the Giants going in that direction. I think they want to continue to develop the young talent that, that they're putting together on this team and keep building around that, as opposed to bringing in old veterans, you know. And like I said, DeAndre Hawkins, he's he's still good, but at the end of the day, he's also thirty years old. He's also been a, been a little been banged up a lot the last couple of years. I mean, banged up a lot. So it's not like he's been his health has been exactly stellar over the course of the last couple of years. But he, like I say, he does bring a lot to the table. Like I said, won't pretend to be upset if we were to sign him. But at the end of the day, I just don't see that being a realistic thing. I don't see DeAndre Hopkins realistically becoming part of the New York Football Giants. And I just want everybody ask my opinion on the situation. I just temper your expectations, everybody. Because I don't see it happening, man. Just, I, I hope he doesn't go somewhere like the Eagles or Dallas. But at the end of the day, I think places like that would be definitely more his ideal type of landing spots. Uh, teams that are more ready to go out there and possibly get that, get a title this upcoming season. I honestly don't feel like that is the New York Giants quite yet. But we'll see. Anything can happen. But at the end of the day, the DeAndre Hawkins thing, yeah, not really looking like it's that realistic that he'll be a New York Giant, man. I just don't I don't personally see it happening. It just doesn't it doesn't line up with the other moves that Joe Shane has been making. And I just feel like it's just it's it's not really anything that we should be discussing too much in depth and getting our hopes up for. So if you like what I had to say, man, please hit that like button. And uh make sure you subscribe to the channel. It takes absolutely nothing to do so it costs absolutely nothing to do so just help support help me grow and i'll keep bringing this content to you each and every you know opportunity i get to do so man i'm starting to get a little more free time loosen up my schedule a little bit and i'm gonna start dropping some more videos soon man uh so just please make sure you just come and support the channel i really appreciate it greatly appreciate it man and definitely don't forget to check me and my guy out, Adam Costas, man. We'll be coming back at you each and every Wednesday soon with the real deal NFC's Roundup. Hear a little clip real quick. Just so you know. Tell you now. And that's right, me and my guy Adam Costas will be returning soon each and every Wednesday evening for the real deal NFC East Roundup. And I want to say thank you for tuning in to another edition of Let Me Talk To You with Mac the Giants fan. It's your boy Mac the Giants fan, man. Please go hit that thumbs up for your boy, man. Keep helping me grow, continuously grow. And I really appreciate it, man. Really greatly appreciate it. Hey! I'd like to thank you all for listening. 
you was feeling this, please take time to subscribe and smack them likes. Feel free to drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to ring that bell so you know when I'm dropping new content. It's your boy, Mac the Giants fan. You can find me on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook at Mac the Giants fan. That's M-A-C-D-A Giants fan.